Are you just now getting started with IoT? If so, you are way behind. But don't worry, we've got your back. Welcome to DevKit Weekly, where this week we'll be getting a jump start on IoT development with the Arduino Opla IoT. Like I said, if you're just getting into IoT technology, you're late to the party. Fortunately, the Arduino Opla IoT Kit is an edge-to-cloud IoT system that's backed by tons of helpful tutorials and getting started projects that will have you partying in no time. The Opla IoT Kit starts with this MKR Wi-Fi 1010 board, which, as you might have guessed, provides the Opla endpoint with 802.11b, g, and n Wi-Fi connectivity. It also supports Bluetooth 4.2 Low Energy and Enhanced Data Rate Wireless. So all of this networking is thanks to a U-Blocks Nino W102 standalone multi-radio module, which comes with an integrated antenna and delivers a Wi-Fi range of 400 meters and throughput of 100 megabits per second. It also supports up to eight Bluetooth connections, secure boot, and enterprise-grade Wi-Fi security, as well as plenty of interfaces and pins that are all brought out onto the module itself. The U-Blocks module also features two 240 MHz Extensa LX6 CPUs with 440 kilobytes of ROM, 520 kilobytes of SRAM, 16 megabits of flash, and a kilobit eFuse non-erasable memory for MAC addresses, configuration settings, and so on. Also on board the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 is the Microchip CMD21 microcontroller, which is based on a low-power 32-bit ARM Cortex-M0 Plus CPU run, running at 48 MHz. This little SAM includes a single-cycle hardware multiplier for a little extra oomph, as well as a micro trace buffer that is super helpful when you're debugging, as it tracks what code has been executed on the device thus far. Other features of the SAMD21 include up to 250 kilobytes of programmable flash, 32 kilobytes of SRAM, a host of peripherals and IOs, support for serial wire debug, and various idle and sleep modes, which include the use of sleepwalking peripherals to really keep power consumption to a minimum, and you'll find out why in a second. So because of all of that, as well as the onboard microchip AT ECC 508 secure element that handles many of the device's crypto functions, the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 serves as the brains of the Opla kit. But the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 plugs into the Maker IoT carrier board here via these two connectors on the flip side of the board. And while the carrier itself doesn't have any intelligence per se in the form of its own processing element, it does bring a whole lot of fun with it via five capacitive touch buttons, which are indicated by these fingerprints here, RGBC proximity and gesture sensing capability when it's paired with this passive infrared sensor, other environmental sensors, including this included capacitive soil moisture sensor, humidity, pressure, and light sensors, an inertial measurement unit, sensor in interfaces, the requisite RGB LEDs, and oh yeah, there's also this pretty kick-ass 240 by 240 round OLED display right smack in the middle, and that resembles a thermostat, maybe? Well, turn the heat up. Actually, maybe turn it down, because this whole hardware stack can run on an 18650 Lion rechargeable battery, not included, but evidenced by the battery holder here. Oh, and in addition to all that, you even get this plastic enclosure that protects the device, obviously. It makes it easier to mount it, and it also makes the device portable in a sense if you're into all that IoT on the go. Speaking of on the go, the folks at Arduino also sent this mesh tote and a lanyard. How do I look? But as I mentioned at the top, this is an end-to-end -end kit, and we've only looked at one end. The other end is the Arduino IoT Cloud, a device monitoring and management dashboard that's accessible via the web and leverages Arduino APIs to connect and control things like the MKR hardware stack you just talked about. You can create your own custom dashboards in the Arduino IoT Cloud in a drag and drop graphical interface that lets you track the IoT deployments. And there are even shortcuts to a web editor, Linux manager, as well as the Arduino store in case you need more sensors or devices in a pinch. One other cool thing about the Arduino IoT Cloud is that it integrates with Arm Pelion, 
So if you're looking to move on up the ladder into a more commercial grade deployment, just sign up for a pro account and start using your Pelion devices immediately. So we're almost done, but we can't end without touching on one of the things that has made Arduino special from the very start, the community. As we talked about, when you visit opla.arduino.cc, the first thing you'll notice is a litany of sample projects, tutorials, and demonstrations that'll help take you all the way from novice to new product. Projects include how to control lights remotely, build a weather station, manage a smart garden, track inventory, and much more. There, you can also create an account to communicate and collaborate with other members of the Arduino development community, which, according to Wikipedia, is 30 million strong as of February 2020. There are different levels of account plans, including, of course, a free one, but with the Opla kit, you can get access to the maker plan for 12 months with an included license. So if you want to play catch up on your IoT development with this uber accessible IoT kit from Arduino, you can get it from the official Arduino store for 114 bucks. With it, you get all the items we've talked about here, as well as some cables, or you can enter this week's raffle, which is linked to on the screen and in the description below, and win all of this stuff for absolutely free. You'll also win the value of the shipping cost, which is whatever FedEx charges from here to wherever you are in the world. Anyway, if you're new to IoT, good luck in the raffle because this is one way to get you up to speed right quick. And if you're not new, good luck to you too, but I'd love to see you pay it forward by sending us some information on what you've done with the kit or what you're gonna do with the kit so we can share it with all the newbies. Trust me, it's good karma. Anyway, thanks for watching this week's Dev Kit Weekly. We'll see all of you next week.